YouTube. This video is about getting a plug milk duct, which is a huge deal for all you breastfeeding moms out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, not too long back, well, actually, I guess it was a few months back, I had my first plug duct, and let me tell you, it sucked. <laughs> It sucked pretty bad because it didn't want to go away. I tried all the usual recommendations that you find online. The moist heat before nursing and pumping to make sure it's absolutely as drained as possible. Um, compressions while nursing and or pumping on the plug duct. Um, cold after or before in the event that it's swelling. Um, and it just wasn't working. I even took extra hot showers to try and loosen whatever was going on in there up a little bit. Sorry, this guy's ready for a nap. And he just wants to be on his mommy. But nothing was working. So I started trying unconventional methods. So one of the things I tried was a um, castor oil pack which I will post a link to how to do those, but basically you soak a rag or a towel or washcloth in castor oil, warm it up a little bit, either before you soak it or just pop it in the microwave. And the goal is to use it as sort of a warm compress and let the castor oil soak in. And it's supposed to have um, disintegrative properties where it would break up um, whatever was clogging it, whether it was thickened milk or, you know, just a plugged surface of the duct or whatever. So, I tried that once or twice. It was really messy. And the goal is to keep it off your breasts anywhere near nursing time and to not let it get on your nipples so that baby doesn't ingest it. For obvious reasons for anyone who's ingested castor oil. Um, that didn't work. It didn't even feel softer. Luckily, I was not in pain. I had a fever one, like the day before I noticed the duct being plugged. So either I had the briefest case of mastitis there ever was and it just resolved into a regular plug or it was just a coincidence. So I tried the castor oil packs. After everything else, I tried Epsom salt baths, which it's not easy. <laughs> but what I did is I took a large kitchen bowl and I just went off the suggested amount on the package um, and tried to soak just one breast in Epsom salt. And since my plug duct was almost um, where my breast meets my chest, it's really hard. I had to get the whole thing in there and balance the bowl and just not easy. Yeah, probably a lot easier if the plug duck is a lot closer to the nipple. So I tried that and then finally I mentioned it to um, one of my midwives at a postpartum appointment and they mentioned a homeopathic medicine called Vitalaca, which I will include a, that information below. But um, I tried that. It seemed to make it go down. Uh, it was just little pellets that I dissolved under my tongue, um, but it did not go away. So it got smaller, but it didn't go away. So after the final lacca, I kept trying the heat and everything. I did not try the castor oil again because it was so messy. So messy to me. I mean, I could have just been doing it the hard way. Um, but I finally found... Well, not finally. I wasn't looking for it. I didn't know I was going to find it. But I found um, a product by a company called Wish Garden. And that product was called Happy Ducts. I think it used to be called Mastitis Cure or something like that. Um, which was a tincture. It was disgusting. It was absolutely nasty. Um, and it also made the plug get a little bit smaller. But it was still there. It was there. I had this duck plugged for like two and a half months. I mean, usually at that point you're looking at recurrent mastitis 
and I guess I was lucky maybe because I was taking all of these things it was preventing it from swelling and getting worse but two and a half months I think this is what I was looking at yeah so I took that it didn't work I finally I asked I went to my regular doctor and was like is there anything you can do she said oh I think it'll clear up in a couple of weeks and I'm like dang you know because it's been a lot a couple of weeks <laughs> but um she said she could have someone else a specialist look at it if I wanted and it didn't really sound necessary so then I went to my chiropractor whose office is trained in ultrasound sonication um to break up the duct and so I mentioned it there and they were like yeah you know if it's a concern then we can do that for you and so I had them perform ultrasound on it and it took like a week and a half after that maybe and I suddenly realized that it wasn't there so after all of that apparently the only thing that worked on mine was the ultrasound so food for thought if you ever get a plug duct and moist heat before and during nursing and cold after or cold both before and after if it's really swollen Epsom salt baths uh, Phytolacca, Happy Ducks, Last Resort, Ultrasound. Uh, if there are any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. But I went through a lot just to get rid of a plug duck, so I figured it'd be useful to have that information out there. Thanks. Bye, YouTube.